Affiliate marketing, survival, beating the beast. What is affiliate marketing? Affiliate marketing is the use by a website that sells products of other websites called affiliates to help market the products. A method of marketing where other websites can sign up to sell your products for a commission. It's performance-based online marketing. Uh, so basically, it's performance-based where it's going to take some kind of a performance in order for you to make that commission. Affiliate marketing is something you can start immediately while you are learning to create your own product and websites, but it needs to be done correctly. Affiliate marketing is a revenue generating activity that you can do in conjunction with building your main internet profit stream. Um, I, you never want to just do one thing and expect the you know the money just to keep coming in. You need to have several several different avenues of of cash coming in, and an affiliate affiliate marketing uh, methods are the are some really great ones to start adding in and generating as you start building your main internet profit stream. Uh, if you choose affiliate marketing to be your to be the main internet profit stream, I still suggest that you go out and you know create your own products. Um, and that you start getting into some other things to have cash flow coming in in different uh, different revenues and different areas of your business. Why you should participate in affiliate marketing? Basically, it's a win-win scenario. If it's done right, you win, and the product winner, the product owner wins. Both of you end up winning, and if it's done really right, the customer wins over. You know, first of all, that is who actually is the big winner uh, because they now um, just received a product from you that they trust already, and they're going to continue to trust you because you delivered something to them that was a value, something that they really needed, and it came from somebody that they trusted. And the product owner is now happy because usually that. Uh, that customer is on his list as well uh, because they just bought the product from them and it's a chance for him to build relationships with them uh, but overall everybody wins when it's done right it's little to no startup costs you can actually do affiliate marketing with absolutely no startup costs but I'm gonna tell you it's very very hard to get started that way um, there's some there's going to be some costs in it, but you can do it with little costs and stuff, which we'll be talking about in just a minute. It's an easy way to offer your customers more of what they want. Um, this is one of the best ways for you to give your customers more of what they want. When you start, when for, when you find out what they want first, you deliver that product to them. Uh, maybe it's that from that free lead generator product. Uh, you need to start leading them into that product funnel and start giving them more of what they're wanting to lead them to their end goals. Um, and this is a great way to do it, um, to pick out good affiliate products and position them them, them very well in your product funnel. You benefit both in terms of building goodwill and making money. You don't deal with the customer issues and support um, for the most part. Um, a lot of times when somebody buys an affiliate product with you, they associate you with that product. So they feel that you ought to be responsible for the support. Um, and it is going to be your responsibility to make sure that your customer is being supported by the product owner himself. So if they're having problems, it's going to be up to you to make sure that your customer is getting treated fairly because you are the one that just referred them um, if you're doing through product recommendations. So uh, make sure that you know that you're on top of the customer support and that you're paying attention and don't just say well that's not my product uh, so I'm sorry I can't help you at all um, you don't need to create a product um, and and I'm saying that after I've just went through and told you all you need to create a product I really do believe you should have your own products because it builds your credibility and to be a good affiliate marketer where you really start doing something that you start getting some really good results you need to have your own credibility and it comes from creating your own products most affiliate marketing programs are free to join and if they're not um, I, I, don't, I wouldn't even you know bother with them unless it's uh, something major um, I've never had to pay for to join an affiliate uh, marketing program but they are out there all right, here's the affiliate promotion process. This is how easy it is. Create a PayPal account, and that's assuming you're not going to use something like, you know, a ClickBank to find your affiliate products. But let's say, you know, you're just you're just going out. It's not a ClickBank product. Maybe it's off of pay.com or 
um, you know, an, just an, an affiliate sent you an email saying, hey, can you sign up here and promote this product? Um, so you're going to need some place to get paid. So create a PayPal account. Find a product with an affiliate program. So you need to have an affiliate program with the product you find. Sign up as an affiliate. Mask your affiliate URL. Market the product or service. Receive your commission and repeat the process. Now, doesn't that sound just like the easiest thing in the world to do? It is so easy. It is so easy that you'll be waking up at noon and just sitting around the house in your underwear doing absolutely nothing while your affiliate business rakes in boatloads of cash to your bank account day and night on autopilot in no time flat. Let's hit the break right now. Um, uh, let's. We're going to have to back up and we're going to start again because that's what most people are told. That's what you're sold on when it comes to affiliate marketing. And you can be honest, you have bought products where that's basically how you were sold. And it, you, it, they made it sound so incredibly easy that all you had to do is, you know, sit around. And they use, a lot of times they'll have a picture of them sitting around at their, in their, at their table in their underwear and stuff, eating their bonbons or whatever while they're doing their affiliate marketing, telling you how easy it is. If you bought into that, you've probably found out that that is not the case at all. Does affiliate marketing really work then? It does not work. You do. You're going to have to do some work. Um, it's not a get. It's not a get rich quick scheme. Um, if you've you know come to the wrong place, if you're looking for that, it's just, it's not get rich quick. Um, it's just that simple. If you've probably already figured that part out, it is as easy as most. Is it as easy as may, most make it sound? No. Please remember, you are, after all, building a business. I don't care if it's an affiliate marketing business. You're building a business. Building a business is not quick and easy or a get-rich-quick. So is it worth your time and investment? I say yes. And I, I use it. I use affiliate marketing all the time. It's very profitable for me. I would not stop using it at all. So yes, it is worth your time and investment. But only if you are a person that is motivated, willing, and ready to work to build your affiliate marketing business. And you are ready to develop a whole new mindset towards affiliate marketing and develop a new way of thinking. If that's you, then stick around for the rest of the webinar. If that's not you, I would probably um, just close this down and go find something else to do because you're going to have to stay motivated. You're going to have to be willing and ready to work to build your affiliate marketing business. You're going to have to start getting a new mindset toward affiliate marketing and get out of the mindset that you're just going to throw something together, get it, get it up and running and start seeing the cash flow come in. And you're going to have to start developing a new way of thinking. If so, if you can do that, um, affiliate marketing delivers and actually it over delivers success. And I, I can guarantee that part if you are that person that we just described up above. There's a learning curve and you need to expect it. Becoming an affiliate is like going to college or university. You start it at the beginning, learn the basics and build on what you learn. There's very basics that you need to start learning first, that you need to start grasping. And we're gonna be covering those in just a second. Um, you need to think of it as of like becoming a doctor. One doesn't decide to become a doctor with the expectation of operating on your first patient one week from now. Um, if you do, you are a little bit crazy. Take it step by step and you'll build a much stronger business. It takes time to learn the products or services that you're marketing and it takes time to learn to run your affiliate business. All right, we're going to discuss a few problems um, that we that a lot of people face when they're starting um, affil their affiliate business. The first one is the failure to prepare. Uh, just know this one thing. If you are going to go into affiliate marketing unprepared, you are setting yourself up for failure. And that's what m happens most often. As people get started, they are totally unprepared for what they're getting into. Most people fail at things that we try because we get so excited and caught up in the hype and the possibilities of making money that we would rather just jump the gun and fire first without an aim. Um, on the positive note, if that's you, if you aim for nothing, there is a good chance that you're going to hit it. So if you're out there aiming for nothing, um, my guess is that you're probably going to hit it. Um, but I'm hoping that you're going to that you're going to get ready. You're going to 
you know, just like sighting in a rifle at deer hunting season or whatever, if you're a hunter, uh, you know, if you just like, you know, pop that thing up there and, and shoot at, you know, the first thing that moves and stuff, uh, it's going to probably get you into a lot of trouble or you're just going to plain miss your target. Um, and we do have a target that we're that we're trying to hit here. You need to pull up. You need to take a good, steady aim. Get ready for it. Aim, and then when it's when you're all ready, then you need to fire. And once you do, um, you're going to find that you're going to hit the target, hit that bullseye, whatever you're after, um, much with much better results. The preparation time needed feels unproductive. I totally understand this. We sit there and go through all of this preparation time and we don't see the results coming in and we get frustrated and we want to quit and you've got to stick with it. If you're really serious about this, the preparation time that feels so unproductive is so necessary. You know, we, a lot of times we need money or results right now. We, you know, we're so strapped. Our finances are so strapped. Um, we're in desperate ways and stuff. And we hear that this is some way that we can get started in with little to no cost and really start raking in the money. And, you know, so we just like, you know, get in there and we just start firing. And the preparation that takes, we start going, it's like, man, I didn't plan on all of this stuff. And, you know, and you just want to go looking for something else because you got to have results right now. Sometimes the circumstances that we live in it demand immediate results. Um, affiliate marketing is not going to be one of those that are going to get you immediate results. Understand this one thing right now. Proper preparation is the only way you're going to become one of the successful. Here's the solution. Nothing more than proper upfront thinking and planning and preparation. Stop panicking and start planning and preparing. So just stop panicking right now and it's time to start planning, it's time to start preparing and time to it, it's better it's basically time to start aiming in and you know getting ready for the aim. Your affiliate goals need to be challenging. We're going to go over the goals here um, rather quickly tonight. Uh, just because we've kind of we've been over these a little bit here earlier, and once again, I want you to see how you know we've been over some of this stuff and how it all fits in and leads us to right to where we are in affiliate marketing. Your affiliate goals need to be challenging. You need to have affiliate goals just like anything else in your business. You need to set goals that will require some effort to reach. Not just simple little goals um, that really don't get, you know, that you don't get a lot of results or really didn't take much effort to do, but something that requires a little bit of effort to reach, something that's going to make you feel good about actually getting that, uh, meeting that goal. Unobtainable goals will lead to failure, so don't make them so huge. So don't sit. In other words, don't say, "Well, I'm going to be, I'm going to start off affiliate marketing, and I want to make three to five thousand dollars in income the very first month that I get started." In um, that's going to be rather un unobtainable and stuff, unless you really got got a good program that you're going in. Um, you've really had some time to, you know, to really, really invest and really put a lot of time into it you know where your all your attention is going into this um, so if you set an unobtainable goal it's going to lead to failure um, challenge everyone that is involved so everyone that is involved you need to challenge them um, not just you but everyone that's involved you want everybody on the team to feel productive and feel like they're really accomplishing accomplishing a lot your affiliate goal needs to say what is going to be done needs to be task oriented must state clearly what is to be accomplished and effective goals use action oriented words when you set your goals they need to say exactly what is going to be done and as clearly as possible not only for you to understand but everybody else that is involved that is involved on the team needs to clearly understand what is to take place and what they are to do um, it's not just sitting around. There is something that they need to do. Your affiliate goal needs to be very specific. <clears throat> setting proper long-term and short goals. State, state goals clearly and always use positives. Your brain craves clarity. It does not like to you know, be unclear about things. The absence of clarity is going to give you that, you know, bury your head in the sand feeling. When that feeling sets in, it's hard to snap out of it unless you set your goals to achieve clarity. Take a second and really think about the pitch that debt consolidation co companies use. <clears throat> you know, basically their pitch is, 
you know, get this small manageable monthly repayments. You know, if you sign up for us for this, you know, to we'll we'll take all of your debt, we'll consolidate it into one small manageable monthly repayment. Well, when you start thinking about that, your mind is very clear as to what is what the result should be. You're thinking, okay, I've got all of these payments that I'm sitting here struggling trying to make. If I if I consolidate all of them, uh, they're saying that they're going to be small, which that sure sounds good to me. They're going to be manageable. Well, man, that would be great. Um, monthly, well, I'm already doing that, but you know, the small and manageable it really got me going. You know, repayment. So. You know, they give you clarity, and that's what you need to do with your goals, is they need to be kind of wrote, written out just like that, where, they're, where you're seeing them as small, manageable monthly repayments. Determine and list or write out your strengths and weaknesses. Every one of us here have strengths, and we each have weaknesses. Um, the strengths we want to use to our advantage um, the weaknesses, we want to find somebody else that, that is their strength, um, that complements us and are able to take care of those things. Um, never, never, never be afraid to outsource. Never be afraid to bring in partners. Um, you know, when you, when you find out the weaknesses that you have, that is not it's going to be an area that you're going to want to concentrate in. It's just going to discourage you. You're going to just end up leaving frustrated and stuff unless you, you know, delegate that to somebody else. But again, when you do, make sure that person understands very clearly what they need to be doing. Identify all resources available. This is essential to reach your goal. For example, you need a certain amount of money, time, health, interest, etc. You know, you're, you're understanding the money and the time, but let me tell you, health really plays into this. Um, you know, and if that's not a resource that you have available to you right now, um, you know, you might want to start rethinking things until that is because a lot of people will, you know, they get started in something and pretty soon they're saying, you know, I'm just not able to continue on with this because maybe not even their own health. Sometimes it's a parent or a loved one that um, ends up having a health problem that we have to go take care of. Um, or maybe it's ours that, you know, takes us out of commission for a while. Um, so take a look at all the resources that you have available. Do you have money available? If so, you're going to be able to do some investing into what you're doing. If not, you're going to have to look for some methods that are going to be low cost or free. Do you have time? If if you have all the time in the world, great. Um, if not, you're going to have to strictly manage that time a little bit better than somebody that has a lot of time uh, because you're going to have to have a, fo a time where you can really sit down and focus on what you're doing. Be honest about what you need to do and what you can and can't do yourself. In order to get where you want to go, you have to know how to get there. Um, if there's something that you can't do, don't sit there and struggle with it. Be honest and just say, I can't do this part of it. Um, you know, that's something that's just not me. Um, I'm not going to be able to do this. That's going to have to be something um, somebody else is going to have to do. Not that you can't accomplish it. It's just that you're the one that's not going to do it. Um, you know, when I first started out, my big thing was the, the technical things. It was like, that's just not something that if I have to do right away, that's not going to be me. So somebody else is going to have to do this. And that's probably a case with a lot of people listening is, you know, their focus is not going to be on the things that you're going to struggle with doing because you're going to once again get discouraged. Formulate a daily improvement plan. This is the most important step of the goal setting process. Ask yourself, what is it that I can do on a daily basis to work toward reaching my goals? What are the essentials that will vary? And that's going to vary depending on your situation. Um, but the key question is, what part of my plan has the most long-term benefit for me? So when you get this plan all laid out, and you start setting your short-term goals where you're basically setting maybe your daily goals um, or your weekly goals and stuff where you're setting them up. What are the things that I should do on a daily basis that are going to benefit me long-term and actually benefit me and actually start getting money coming in? Um, let's, go back to the, let's go back to the technical thing. If your thing is not technical, you know, setting up the website and everything else, well, then who cares? Um, it's still got to get done, but that's not going to be something that you're going to concentrate on. That's going to be something that you're going to basically plan in your day is you're going to say, okay, build website. 
nope, that's not for me. I'm going to plan that into um, whoever's doing your technical, whoever you're outsourcing to. If you have a partner, you're going to say, okay, this needs planned into you know Joe's day or whoever your partner is, whatever. Um, so make sure that when you're planning your day, that you're reaching the goals that are going to benefit you long term. They're the things that you can do on a daily basis. Make it work on short short term goals. Your long term goal may take a long time to reach, perhaps months or even years. Um, so let's say we just all we have is our long term goal laid out in front of us. We know where we're starting and we know where we're where we want to end up. We're not there, but we want to end up there. Um, if that's all we have, that is not a positive. It is not a positive to look five years into the future and say, that's where I want to be in the future. Um, because our, we don't see that as something, you know, that's going to be very achievable right now. Um, let's say we want to be, you know, our goal is to start here and we're, we want to be debt free in five years. Well, that's really not a positive. The positives are going to be becoming working on that short-term goals that's going to show us how to get there. Because if, we're, if we set up a short-term goal of, let's say, uh, maybe paying off that first credit card or something like that, you know, you know we're going to do that within the first so many months or whatever. Then we're starting to look at things more positively where we can see an end result coming up, you know, getting closer all the time and things in our mind start thinking more positive. You need to stay both positive and motivated. Achieving short-term goals will give you feedback and show you actually making progression towards your long-term goal. Your short-term goals, of course, should be action-oriented like we discussed. Make them achievable, but not so easy that you do not feel any sense of accomplishment when it is achieved, and that is so important. Commit to your goals. You must commit. You've got to be consistent. It's one thing to say, I'm going to do this. It's another thing to actually do this. How many times have you set for yourself something to that you need to get accomplished and you just decided, eh, not today. And pretty soon it never got in, like, never got done. Maybe you said, you know, before you went to bed, you you said, in the morning when I wake up, I'm going to do this. You woke up in the morning, you were so tired. Ah, wait till give it an hour. Pretty soon the day's done. You didn't get it done. You weren't committed to that goal. Um, and the th another thing that's really big that I've been preaching from the very beginning of this is consistency. You need to be consistent in everything that you do and get started in. Continually be monitoring your progress. Get a whiteboard or with dry erase markers or something like that that you can set up where you can see it, where you set up your daily goals, your short-term goals that are leading there. And as you do them, cross them things off. And what, what that's going to do to you is it's going to show your mind and start showing you in your mind that, look, I'm accomplishing things. I'm getting results. I'm getting closer and closer and closer to that end goal. Each day, do you, do you see yourself getting closer to your ultimate goal? If not, you're not doing things properly. You need to have it set up so that every single day that you, when you go to bed at night and you take a look at what you've accomplished, you should be able to see yourself getting closer to the ultimate goal. And if that's not you right now, um, you're not set up properly for that, and that's very important to accomplish. Are your plans and goals actually working or do they need adjustments? So are the things that you're trying to achieve, you've set up your short-term goals and you've been working them, are you actually accomplishing those goals or do you need to adjust them? Maybe you made them a little bit too difficult for yourself, so you need to make them a little bit easier to make sure that you're getting some kind of a result. Um, maybe they're actually working, but they're so easy that you're just like, man, this is just a breeze. Well, you need to challenge yourself a little bit more. Continue to be writing down each of your small successes and lessons that you will be learning along the way. Every time you have a small success, write it down. Every time that you that you see something as maybe was not a success, that you've seen it as a failure, take that failure that you see in your mind and and f basically learn from it. Why did it fail? Why didn't you have any kind of success with, with that? Maybe it wasn't as much success as you were hoping. Why wasn't it? Um, learn from those and you'll do this by writing the things that you accomplished down so you can be able to see what you accomplished, how you accomplished it, and it's going to help you to start planning for future uh, goals that you're going to be preparing. Chart your progress. You need to be able to visually see how far you have come, how much closer you are to goal in times when it seems like you're not getting anywheres. And remain positive all the way through it. Those people that are around you that are negative, 
uh, those naysayers and stuff that are trying to bring you down and saying, yeah, right, you're going to make money online. Yeah, right, you're going to actually ever get some kind of results. Or when are you going to ever get it, you know, do anything? You know, you're going to have to step up to the plate and say, listen, I'm, I'm doing my very best here. I'm working hard at this, and I need you to be positive with me and help encourage me and hold me accountable to these things because um, without it, I'm going to get negative, and I'm just going to fall away. Find an accountability partner, and if it's not that significant other or whatever, find somebody that can help you be accountable, that can step up to the plate and say, you know, be man or woman enough to say, hey, um, this is what you said you're going to be doing. Did you get it done? Uh, well, yes, I did. Well, great. You know, cheer for you and everything else. And if not, you know, hold you accountable and find out why it didn't happen and see what could have been done to differently to make it happen. If you're still having problems with goal setting and want to learn more, go to ehow.com, that's ehow.com, and type in how do I set goals for success. You will find all sorts of training material on this. Um, so if you're having problems with goal settings, um, that's where we're going because we are moving on. Budget, time, and money. Set a general budget for both time and money. Um, sometimes you can do things for free, but they all are going to take some kind of time. You need to set a budget for them. You need to understand what kind of time you have to dedicate to reaching your goals. And you need to stay um, committed to that time. You need to stay consistent in the time that you're spending in this. Um, so make sure that you write out what kind of time you have. Um, and what kind of money you have to be able to invest in different programs or if you don't you know what are you gonna have to do you know what are the things that you can do for free to save you money as a business business owner you'll use plenty of time developing and promoting your affiliate business budget as much time as you can each day make sure you use your time wisely set up a budget for your monetary expenses too you can run a business online with a shoestring budget just don't expect a mammoth income in the beginning the more you can invest in your business the better this doesn't mean that simply throwing money at your business will make it grow every dollar that goes out of your door needs to come back in and bring another dollar with it maybe not right you know as soon as you send that thing out there and it's bringing it back in those times are going to come when you invest a little bit of money you do an affiliate you know have an affiliate product send it out um, where you're going to more than bring uh, bring another dollar back in with it um, but what you need to keep track of what you're investing and you need to be able to see how that's going to come back in plus another dollar with every dollar you spent at least all right another problem placing too much dependency on the owner of affiliate products when you're first starting out, we're very excited, and it's very easy to choose the wrong programs. You will also find that it is easy to fail with the right programs. You'll find that one-of-a-kind awesome product to promote, but you also may have found a company that simply doesn't have the time or the know-how to train their affiliates properly. Um, so you might have found a great, great product. Um, the, you signed up for their affiliate program. The thing of it is, is that company either they didn't have time, they don't have time to spend with you, or they just maybe they're kind of new themselves. They just got a product out there. They're really new to you know this whole affiliate thing, and they really don't know how to train their affiliates properly. Um, maybe they don't have startup manuals, no learning and coaching environment provided. They have no webinar training to help you out, no creative new ideas ever sent out to the affiliates to say, hey, um, so-and-so is doing this, and maybe you should try this. No tools on the affiliate tools page if they even have one. Um, no affiliate support systems. No wonder people fail. Uh, you know, a lot of times so you're going to run across these great products that have no help for you at all. So you're going to need to know what you're doing um, so that you do not end up failing with the right product. A lot of times you're just going to find the, you know, choose the wrong program to get started and, and it's going to fail. It, I mean, maybe you might make some money with it, but if it's not a good program, uh, the refunds are going to come in and that money's going to start disappearing again. The solution, successful affiliates select the best product with the best affiliate pro, affiliate programs. We'll be covering that later. Successful affiliates test out the affiliate programs they are considering. They don't just sign up. They go they go in. They or If they start signing up, they go in to see what's available to them. Uh, maybe they have to get a hold of the product owner themselves and say, hey, do you have some things? I'm not seeing them. Um, this is what I'm looking for. Um, you know, So you're going to need to know what you're looking for. 
Successful affiliates know how to go out and do it right on their own. They do not depend on the product owner. There have been many times where I found a great product that was a great fit for my for my list. Um, it was it was a great time for me to position that product into my product funnel. And when I went looking for the tools, they weren't there. And when I asked for them, I got some things that maybe worked for somebody else, but they were not going to work for my list. And I needed to go about you know changing that and being able to step up to the plate and say, I know what my list, my market needs, and I know how to you know how I'm going to have to sell this product and stuff so I'm not going to I don't have what I you know what I need so I'm going to have to basically just you know go from my own know-how and stuff to get this working successful affiliates learn and prepare to and eliminate the dependence totally on the other product owner they they just need you need to learn to be able to eliminate the dependency totally don't go into affiliate marketing thinking that if if I fail if the product doesn't fail you know that I can just go and blame the product owner for you know for the results that I got well you must have had a bad product um, because that's not always the case um, you don't go in there looking at it thinking that if I fail, I've got somebody to blame because that's not the case. If you fail, usually the only one that you've got to blame is going to be yourself. Successful affiliates have support systems in place. They have support systems. They have people there that are there to support them. Maybe they've got uh, coaches, partners, um, different um, you know product owners. They have a support system in place that are going to help them achieve the results that they're looking for. Um, maybe it's other marketers that are out there that you are relying on to uh, to help you to teach you as you're going along. Another problem is we have poor looking or no websites. Um, a lot of times people say, "Hey, you can do affiliate marketing with no website whatsoever," um, or it doesn't even matter if it's a poor looking, crappy looking website. Um, this is a problem that kills affiliates, and most and most never even come to an understanding as to why. If you really want to succeed, the best place to start is right where you are with what you have, and that is your website and your content. And that's why I stress so much that you should have your own product. Uh, you need to be able to be providing your co own content. You need to build your credibility. Lack of technical skills keep you from developing a site altogether. You need a site. I'm just going to tell you right right now you've got to have a web presence out there um, and you're not going to want to set up a website just a lot of times and and I, and I believe in this uh, to a degree but a lot of times we say you just got to get something started to get it set up and stuff and just basically get yourself out there and I believe in that to a degree but what happens usually is we put out this um, maybe not so great looking website that just to get it up so we get some kind of result um, that you know to say look I got my website up uh, but then what we do is we move on from there and here and we're trying to figure out why in the world um, I'm not making no sales well when somebody shows up to your site and they see a poor looking website what do you think when you see that when you show up to a website that just where you go wow what in the you know who created this you know the site it's hard to navigate um, it's just all cluttered it's, my mind starts thinking uh, beginner um, unprofessional and I probably don't want to be here um, and that's what a lot of people end up doing because they were told that you either don't need a website or it doesn't matter what it looks like just get it out there um, and true get get something out there and get it started but you need to work on it and make sure that it, by when you're done with it or somebody else is done with it if you aren't going to provide the technical yourself that it looks professional when you're done have a you have, or you have a site with one or more of the following mistakes site is hosted using a free web hosting service or a free blog um, you know service or whatever that is a credibility destroyer there are places for these free web hosting and free blog services. There are places for them when it comes to traffic generation, but not for your main sites when you are trying to build your credibility. Uh, they have poor design. Website has a newbie look and feel, you know, a beginner, unprofessional looking. Site contains low value or, or, or irre irrelevant. <laughs> Sorry about that. Site contains low value or irrelevant content that does not solve the problem the visitor is looking to solve. So you've got content up there that really 
is not relevant to the site. Um, and a lot of people do that. They say, you just, you just got to get content on that site. No, it's not just putting content on a site. It's making sure that you have good, relevant content um, that is going to really help the visitor solve a problem. Um, that's what you want to have. It's content that your target market is looking for. Not only that, it better match what they came looking for. If you're using keywords and they're finding you, when they get to your site, your tar your content needs to match what they thought they were coming to find. Uh, you have poor site navigation built into it where it's hard to figure out where they're supposed to go next. Um, a site not search engine friendly where it's just not found in the search engines. A lot of people go, I got this website, but nobody's showing up to it. Well, there's probably a reason. The solution, top super affiliates all develop a website. Your web present, presence is crucial. You have got to establish your web presence. You have got to establish your own credibility. If you're going to do affiliate marketing because you are afraid to put yourself out there, um, find something else to do because you need to establish your credibility you need to get your presence seen top of super top super affiliates all have clean and easy to navigate sites solutions to no tech skills outsource it if you just don't know what you're doing outsource it you need to get it up to build that credibility you need to get it started to start making money so get it done you can get it done reasonable you can go to odesk.com guru.com you can go to the place like the warrior forum and you know ask for people that you know uh, you know anybody out there you know this is what I'm looking for is there anybody out there that can help me um, other students that you know of uh, tech schools in your community are a great place because um, um, what I like about tech schools is it all comes with a teacher that wants that student to um, succeed so they're going to make sure that you know that student does the best job for you and it's usually you know a lot of times free or very very minimal cost Top super, super affiliates all position themselves properly to meet their target audience at the search bar, providing excellent, relevant content to provide best solutions to the target audience problem. Write it yourself or outsource. If you're not writing your own content, you need to get content out there that helps your target audience solve a problem that is going to be good SEO, you know, it's going to have good keywords in, used in it because you need to meet your target audience at the search bar when they come searching they need to find you they need to find your excellent relevant content um, and if you can't do it yourself outsource it you can outsource very reasonable and again there's some places to outsource up there um, I, I guarantee you that outsourcing just write like articles blog posts them, is very 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 reasonable and it's something that I would outsource because it's time consuming Top super affiliates all attract highly targeted, interested leads to their site. It's not about just getting any old traffic. It's getting the right traffic. Top super affiliates all use their sites to build lists. So once you have a site, you should have it prepared to build a list. There better be an opt-in box somewhere on there offering them something to sign up for and a great irresistible product for them to sign up for. If you have a site that you're not list building off from in some way, um, get it. You need to get it that happening as soon as possible. Top super affiliates all use their sites to gain credibility and build relationships. Um, you do this through your content that you're, you know, when they see you as the expert, that's when things uh, really start taking off. Do you want to buy something from somebody you know nothing about or don't really trust? Um, that's where we start hesitating and stuff. You, you don't want that. You don't want people to hesitate. You need to gain that credibility and build that relationship. Top super affiliates all continue to provide solid value by providing other sources of great content, such as through affiliate products and service. Not only do you, you know, through your maybe your free giveaway, you need to start positioning your products and giving them other sources of great content um, through other affiliate products. This is where affiliate products really comes in. When you're recommending products that fit the customer's mindset, where it fits in their in that product funnel that you have. Um, that you've researched and know when you know exactly what that customer needs and wants you've built that product funnel and you're bringing them through that product funnel is a great place to position affiliate products build your website if you build it they will come not exactly you need to invest in hosting a domain name autoresponder and then get going you need to send the autoresponder because you need to start doing some list building so you can start doing some follow-up uh, messages which we're going to talk about um, but you need it's basics that you're going to need invest in your hosting you can get it for 
usually about 12 bucks a month you know with some of the the cheaper ones a domain you're gonna get that for like 10 bucks for a year auto responder is gonna be right around 25 bucks a month um, so make sure that when you're ready to go you know that you've got some things you're all planned and prepared and ready to go if you want to maximize your income and be taken seriously you need to own your own website you need to look professional you want to build your own credibility come across as the expert yes I know you get an affiliate URL when you sign up as an affiliate and that is all you were planning on doing but just going out and promoting an affiliate links looks amateur and it will help you lose sales guaranteed it's gonna help you lose sales and that's how most people think that they're supposed to get started you just go sign Sign up for an affiliate program grab that affiliate link and you go promote it where are you going to promote that affiliate link have you have you thought about that have you prepared for that um, how are you going to promote that affiliate link who are you promoting that affiliate link to um, you know you got to be prepared here's basically what you're going to need to have a market ready website um, online purchase your domain purchase your web hosting you're going to change that domain DNS to point to your web host purchase an autoresponder you're going to be creating your websites um, so you're going to basically your website's going to con consist of an index.html page this might be your squeeze page um, where you're sending them first it's going to need a sales page um, where it's some place to send them next it's going to need your thank you pages built your product pages um, you're going to want to create a folder for that and have pages inside your product page within that folder. We're not getting into all the technical stuff tonight. Upload websites to your web host and you're basically ready to go. Your site is up and ready to go. Another problem is little or no traffic. Build your website and they will come right not. Affiliate marketers have one more big challenge and that's building traffic. The key word here is building again you need to think consistency we've been over this already most new affiliates never seem to realize they have the power to attract tens of thousands of interested motivated visitors every single day you have the potential to do it you have that kind of power and stuff if you have planned it right and you've learned what you're supposed to you've got that kind of power and if you've already been learning and you probably already realize that the bigger problem still is getting the right traffic. It takes more than just getting traffic to your site. Um, it needs to be the best targeted traffic you can get or it will be difficult to convert to sales. One of the biggest things that I hear is, man, I'm getting all these clicks. I'm getting traffic. I, I know I'm getting traffic. There's people like crazy clicking on my link, but it's not converting. Nobody's you know, buying anything. Nobody's signing up to my list. And so I don't understand it. And if um, you know one of the biggest problems you might be having is that the traffic that you're getting isn't the best traffic that you should be getting to your site if you want to sell on the internet whether it's your own product advertising affiliate programs internet marketing or just want to increase blog traffic you must learn how to get website traffic that works if you've got that affiliate link how are you going to get somebody there you need traffic to see that a link you can't just you know throw it out there and expect people to find it um, you need to know how to get traffic to that a link the solution top super affiliates all make content of their web pages attractive to search engines it's SEO friendly so your content that you have is going to be seen in the search engine so when somebody shows up they're going to find your con that um, content that you have inside that content you're going to be pre-selling them on that affiliate link that you're going to be leading them to you're not going to just throw them affiliate link the content is going to be your pre-sell top of a super affiliates will have methods in place that will allow them to track how each site and page performs they'll continue to test and tweak to improve uh, improve performance uh, Google Analytics on your websites put it on every page that you have get a Google Analytics account get a Google account get your analytics it's a code that's gonna go in your HTML of your website if you don't know how to do it um, check it out online if you still can't figure it out outsource it it's a very simple little thing it will cost you hardly anything for somebody to go log into your account grab that little code and go put it where it needs to be um, so you know if you know make sure that your your site is set up so that you can test it that you can know what's going on with your pages with each page that you have so that when you are getting traffic you know where they're coming from how long they're staying there so you can look for problems that are going on and so that you can get them fixed top super affiliates all develop more than one way to generate and drive traffic it's a continued 
process. Every successful marketer opens up all the doors and windows they can to let in as much traffic as possible. You need several different avenues of traffic. You want several different exits coming on. You know, you want those ex not going off. You want them, uh, the entrance ramps, there we go, coming onto that highway that you're creating. You want several different ramps coming on. But when you first start out, focus on just one or two traffic methods at a time. Don't sit there and try that. Tr you know get started in them all try just a couple of them for you know start with one start mastering that one then then start in with number two start get so that you're mastering that one and then continue to just open up more doors and consistency is vital to your success if you start out with article marketing or video marketing it's not all about putting out 10 videos like you're going to be taught saying, hey, here, you need to get 10 articles out there and stuff and watch the traffic come in. It's not going to happen. You're going to get some results, a few people coming in, but you need to be consistent. Once you start something, continue it. The big picture solution, some of these solutions may sound totally out of reach for you. I hope not, but they may be. You might be thinking right now, it's like, wow, maybe I should just give up while I can. You need to salvage the one thing that you are in control of right now and no one else, not even me. It's your will to succeed. You need to salvage that. You're the one that's in control of that. I'm not. Nobody else is that you're con coming in contact. You're going to have people that are there to support you, but ultimately you are the one that's in control of your success. Daily routine of positive self-talk. This is sometimes very hard when you're discouraged and you find yourself frustrated over and over and over with the results that you're getting, but you still have got to learn uh, how to channel your positive self-talk. Um, you will likely will feel very frustrated trying to make everything work. Be aware of your self-talk. Uh, self Become consciously aware of the things that you are saying and get rid of the negativity. And if it's coming from somebody else, that needs to go. Understand that the big picture of things, these problems are considerably small to the overall picture. When you take a look at the overall picture of affiliate marketing or starting, setting up your online business, um, you know, it, let's just take a whole look at the whole business and stuff, and affiliate marketing is a small part of that. And each of these problems that we were talking about is a smaller problem of affiliate marketing. And when you start looking at the big picture, you're going to realize that each one of these is really not that bad. Um, you know, each has a solution. You just need to learn how to do better overall. Master the things you enjoy and can do. The rest needs to leave your list of things to do and put it on the list for others to do. Again, everybody needs to know what's going on, what they're supposed to do, and what they need to get accomplished, and everybody needs to be held accountable to that. Master the things you enjoy and can do. The rest needs to leave your list of things to do and put it on the list for others to do. I want to give you an example. Um, I know of a lady that's getting ready to do some webinar series and stuff, and she had everything, the content, the PowerPoints, everything was there and stuff, and the only thing that was lacking was getting the website set up. And it was to the point where it's like, okay, this really could start making some really good money coming in right now if we had the website all set up ready to go. Well, um, problem was is that wasn't her area of expertise setting up the website. So now we're at a place where we either get frustrated and say, I just can't do that. I'm just going to have to quit, I guess. Um, I was so close this time. Or we're going to have to say, I'm going to have to find somebody that can do this. Um, and you're going to have to get that in your mindset and you know, say, if, I, if, if it's something you can't accomplish, somebody else needs to get it done. Somebody else was hired to do the website. The website's ready to go. These, you know, the webinar is going to be, you know, put out there very soon, and there's going to be money rolling in, and probably some very good money rolling in because everything got taken care of. They, they took control of their success. Um, you know, they were frustrated at the beginning, but they, you know, they learned how to deal with all of the things that were going on. They paid attention to the training, and now. They're ready to get going very quickly, and you can do the very same thing. You may be looked at as the most unlikely to succeed. Think back in high school. If somebody said, you know, they always have who's most likely to succeed, who's most likely not to succeed. Maybe that was you. That is not who you are. You need to right now focus your eyes on the biggest path of success and set out to succeed in the biggest way possible. It's ready, aim, and then fire. You get ready because it's coming your way. 
All right, the nuts and bolts. You've got your house in order. Now what? You've got the proper mindset. You're looking at things from a realistic viewpoint. Your mind is open and ready for new opportunities. You set your goals. You've got pictures of your dream house, your car and vacation plastered on your wall so you know what you're looking to achieve. You're ready to learn. You've set aside some time and money. You're now ready to go looking. Looking for what? Well, first of all, we need to find some good affiliate programs. We're going to have to have some good products. Find a niche that interests you. If you don't already know what that is, you're going to have to find what in niche interests you. We're not getting into finding your niche tonight. Um, you're going to have to find one that interests you with a good affiliate program. The next step is to find a niche that interests you and offers an affiliate program with a reasonable commission. For information products, one of the most popular and profitable, which is the most profitable and, pro and profitable online, you can and should expect a commission of 40% or more. And depending on what the front end, a lot of times you might even be going up to 100% commission that you can be expecting. There are many companies you can that you can represent as an affiliate, but finding a company that respects its affiliates is another story altogether. Do your research before you jump on any affiliate program. So many affiliate programs, which one do I choose? You need to ask yourself some questions before you join an affiliate program. You're going to have to do research. We've been doing research from the very beginning. There's going to be more research involved. Get some answers because um, they're going to be the deciding point of what you will be achie achieving later on. You need to have some questions answered. First of all, will it cost you anything to join? If it is, I just go away from it. Um, depending on what niche it is that I, I guess that you're getting into, um, but most niches, affiliate programs should not cost you anything to join. When do they issue the commission checks? Find out when they, um, you know, so that you're not sitting there. It's like, man, that says I made all these sales. When do I get paid? Know when you're getting paid. What kind of conversion rates is are they getting for that product? You're going to need to be knowing this kind of thing. So what, you know, you know, so ask. You're going to have ask that product owner if they don't have it displayed already. Ask. Does this program have plenty of tools and resources? If not, find out if they can provide them. If not, you're going to need to provide them on your own. How are referrals from an affiliate site tracked and for how long do they remain in the system? You know, there's programs out there that once you sign up and you get somebody that clicks on that link, they're cookie to you for, you know, for forever. You know, that, you know, sometimes it's only just for, you know, that one time or for a month or for certain products or whatever um, that are going to be cookie to that when somebody click, clicks on that affiliate link. What are the kinds of affiliate stats available? What kind of stats are, are available for you to check out? Are you going to be able to see how many sales you're making, how many clicks you're getting on your link, what kind of conversion you're having? Um, you know, you're going to want to know those kind of things and see if those stats are available. They will be in the back end of the affiliate program that is set up for you with access to it if it's there. If it's not there, you can't find it, ask. Does the affiliate program pay for hits and impressions besides the commission on sales? There are some programs out there that somebody just clicking on your link and you can end up getting paid for it um, or an impression. Beside the, and, and other ones are just going to be strictly just commissions on a sale where when somebody clicks on that link and actually buys. Who are you doing business with? Is it a real solid company? Make sure that you research the companies that you're doing business with to make sure that they are a good, solid, reputable company. Know who you're doing business with. And once you understand that um, when they come out with new products and stuff, you're going to be able to trust a little bit easier that that product's probably something that is going to be good um, because you have confidence in that, you know, in that seller uh, or in that product owner and you trust them and you've got a good relationship with them. Is the affiliate a one tier or two tier program? Do I just get paid on, you know, for me sign up, or if somebody signs up under me for the same affiliate program, will I get paid a commission on what they make themselves? Is this a program that you like and have interest in, and is it a good fit for your target audience? If it's not a good fit, get out of it, or you're going to have to start a brand new niche. Um, make sure it's something that your that your customers or your um, your list or whoever you whatever you want to call them that they have an interest in it so once again you're going to have to know who you're marketing to and what they're looking for lastly what is the amount of commissions paid know how much you're supposed to be getting paid um, don't just 
take for granted that you're probably going to get paid 50% because that's not always the case. And if there's a lot of times I might have a front end and you might not be getting paid on the back end if there's a one-time offer. Um, you might not be getting paid on the reoccurring if it's a membership and you promoted it through a front end that you made maybe 100% commission on the front end. Um, but that affiliate or that product owner isn't paying you the uh, residual. Um, so make sure that you know what the commissions are and what you're actually getting paid for. So there's no misunderstandings at the end. Um, basically, um, just because we touched on it, a two-tier affiliate, two affiliate program. Affiliate programs are two-tier programs that distribute commissions based on a referral network of signups sign and sub-affiliates. An example, affiliate A signs up, that's you, to an affiliate program and gets rewarded for a sale or lead by a visitor. So you sign up, you get rewarded for each sale or a lead, whatever that you know that you're getting paid by. Now, if you let's say you let's say you sold um, sold your first product, made that first affiliate sale. Well, that person that just bought from you, they can have the opportunity to now go sign up as an affiliate for the very same program. They're like, wow, this is a good pr product um, because you just promoted something really outstanding to them. And they go, I would like to promote this. Maybe I, maybe they have a list or they would like, you know, into affiliate marketing. So they sign up under you, you know, if they, you know, they've, it's going to go through a link that you would give them. It's like, hey, here, if you would like to promote this product yourself, here's a link that you can sign up for. They sign up for you for the same program using the sign up code. Affiliate B becomes a sub-affiliate of Affiliate A. All future activities performed by Affiliate B will then result in additional commissions for you for Affiliate A. So usually it's not as high a commission. Usually it's an extra 5 or 10% commission on top of what you're already getting. Sale, lead, or click. Affiliate networks are designed to compensate their affiliates based on three different types of actions. Pay-per-click or PPC. Pay-per-lead. Pay, uh, PPL and pay per sale or PPS. Um, basically, a pay per click means that when a visitor to a web page clicks on an affiliate link, the affiliate earns a certain amount. These are not found very much, but there are times where you're going to get paid just by somebody clicking on that link. All the visitor has to do is click through and view the advertisement. It doesn't require any other type of action for the affiliate to get paid. Uh, PPC is usually the lowest paying type of action, but the easiest to complete. You're not going to get paid a lot for these, but it's the easiest for you to do um, because a lot of people can get affiliate link and get it out there and just get clicks, um, you know, to it. But it's a lot of times it's not the right traffic. You're not making sales, but you're getting clicks. Um, this, these are not that common, but they're the easiest. Paper lead: a visitor clicks on an affiliate link and fills out a form requesting more information, joining a newsletter or an online group. So basically, they clicked on your link. And they signed up um, to the product owner or whatever for, to get on their list. Um, PPL usually doesn't require a cash transaction or a credit card information, although sometimes it does. Um, sometimes they'll have to sign up with their credit card, but um, just for, you know, because they're going to try to get it already in their system and get that sale. Um, paper sale is usually the highest paying type of action. It's also the hardest generally to complete. Um, in paper sale, the visitor must complete a purchase or enter their credit card to participate in a product or trial offer. So a lot of times um, it might be a trial offer, but they had to enter their credit card and they'll count that as a sale to you. Um, otherwise, they other they have, they have to buy the product where you're going before you earn that commission. The affiliate gets a percentage commission of that each one of those sales that you make. All right, pick an affiliate product, and we're going to go into more detail of this later, um, but you're going to need to pick a product that interests you. Buy it and use it. If at all possible, buy it and use it. Know the product. Your business is based on your recommendation of a product or service. If you haven't used it, how can you recommend it? If you know nothing about it, if you haven't researched it at least, how can you recommend it? Uh, you can go to ClickBank dot com pay dot com are probably some of the biggest places to go uh, to look for affiliate products if everything looks like a winner up to this point then the next step is to take action what you're looking for we've seen this before in this training but it, what you're looking for is to build your affiliate marketing funnel 
you need to find products that are going to position very nicely in your product funnel, on your product ladder or whatever. So when somebody comes onto your list and they start going in through your product funnel, you're looking for affiliate products that fit, that are going to help that person advance through that funnel or up that ladder to reach their you know, solution to their customer problem. That's when affiliate marketing really kicks in, is when you can position affiliate products that make sense to the customer in their mind already, and that you can position properly for them to say, yeah, I need this. Thank you for your recommendation. You know, because that, that ladder, you need to fill it, you know, as much as you possibly can to get that person to the top before, you know, you don't want them leaving you. Um, so, and you don't have to create all the products. Um, I'm not saying you got to create all the products, but affiliate products are very good to position in that uh, in your funnel. Next, you're going to fill out the affiliate application form and get your affiliate URL. It's going to be just a simple form. Usually, some of them are more advanced than this. Um, a lot of them are going to require that you put in a PayPal information, your Social Security, or your um, tax ID number. Um, you know, they'll have certain requirements there. But once you've chosen the product, you're going to basically be taken to a page, sign up as an affiliate. You're going to get your link. You can, you're can. you going to want to cloak that link um, to mask it, um, basically just to protect your income. By masking or cloaking your link, you can protect your affiliate idea and your affiliate commissions. Here's some um, very easy one, except for Power Link Generator. That's one that is ho a site-hosted one that you would have to set all up. Takes a little bit of tech skills, a little bit of know-how, um, but it's a good one. It's um, a lot of times you'll see the recommend links out there. You, a lot of them come from PowerLink Generator. Um, you can go to bit.ly, uh, cli.gs, youforgot.me, budurl, tinyurl.com. These are all places that you can take, and a lot of these ones will have different tracking systems where you know uh, built in where you can tell how many people are actually clicking on them um, go try them out check them out see which one fits you the best which one that you feel the most comfortable with um, most of them are pretty much the same you know same time type of uh, um, application common ways to promote affiliate products we're going to touch on just a few of them here um, for right now list promotions uh, product recommendation is one of probably one of the biggest ones um, by developing a relationship with your list, you can promote items that you feel would be valued to them. Now, the reason I'm saying with your list is because I want you to be working on list building and getting that list set up. That you, Because that's the best way is when you have people on your list that know you, like you, and trust you and looking for you to recommend them. Um, just going out there and recommending products is not very easy if you do not have your own credibility and you do not have a relationship with those showing up. Um, so by developing that relationship, you're going to be able to promote items that you feel would be valuable to them because that relationship, you're going to get to know them more on a more personal level, start to understand a little bit more about them and what their likes and interests are and what they're really looking for. Um, that's why I recommend really get into your list building from the very beginning. You're going to basically, the you have your autoresponder account is going to be taken off at this point. You're going to have them on your list. You can send out a broadcast message to everybody on your list all at once. It's not a single little email. All at once, you send out a broadcast basically saying, here is this great product that I found. Um, you might want to give them some content in the email um, You know that's going to be kind of a pre-sell, leading them that to that affiliate link. A lot of times, you're going to have swipe emails that you can just go in and copy and paste and put in there if that's what you choose to use. My recommendation is you put your own uh, personality into those emails rewrite them just use them as templates um, but a broadcast message is a great way to use uh, for product recommendation uh, watch other affiliate marketers and look at the strategies that they are using um, that is probably one of the best ways to really um, do some research is to watch other affiliate marketers watch what other people are doing are they giving bonuses you know are they you know how are they, how are they sending out their emails how often are they sending out emails what kind of products are they promoting and stuff and why are they promoting those products watch other affiliate marketers and really pay attention to the strategies and what they're doing see what is working and what is not if it's not working you're going to see somebody stop it really quick like but if you see somebody that continues on and on and on with a certain process my guess is it's working or they just are not catching on or paying attention to what they're actually doing. Become the credible expert. 
If your visitor feel and believe that you are an expert in your niche, they're more inclined to make that purchase. And that's why credibility is so important when it comes to your affiliate marketing. Um, because you're recommending other products. You want that person to believe in you. You want them to trust you and know that what you're recommending them is something good and they need. Do not run the risk of promoting junk products and services. Think how long it takes to build your credibility and trust among your visitors. All that will take to destroy it is one big mistake on your part. I know this by experience. You really need to be thinking about this. One big mistake and you are back to ground zero again a lot of times. So, or you're very, really digging yourself out of a hole. Um, you know, don't promote, don't promote junk. Um, research it. Know that it's good stuff that you're promoting and stuff. Uh, because you know, make sure that the customer supports there for them. That you know everything is in place. That they're going to once you promote that and they buy, that they're going to have a good experience with their purchase. Only promote products that match your target audience. You're not going to want to just promote anything. It has to match what your target audience is looking for. That has to be a solution to their problems. Know your customers. Knowing your customers is going to help you know what products to promote. Promote products that position well in your product funnel. Um, make sure that you know, you know you've got that product funnel laid out and you go looking for products that specifically match your target audience and that they specifically fit in your product funnel to get the people that you're uh, marketing to um, to where they need to go. It must make sense to the customer before they purchase. All right, another way that we can promote affiliate products is by blogging. It's another incredible way to promote affiliate products. You can do paid blogs, which I recommend. Um, you know, where you purchase and host your own domain are the most effective. Now, I'm not going to say that this is not a good place to start bringing in some some of the free blogs, um, because it's because it is. This is a very good place to start using them. But like I said, your main site, your main blog that you're really building that relationship with and that content, um, you're going to want that to be a hosted blog where you know where the you you have it all set up and you own the content that's there and you know your credibility is at stake um, but this is where the free blogs do come in and and some of them that you can use are like blogger blog you can wor use wordpress.com not the .org because that's the paid one that we're wanting to use but wordpress.com weebly.com these are ways that you are going to be using on top of what you already have on your main blog you can set these ones up as more ways to generate traffic to that affiliate link to get that content out there social media such as hub pages or squidoo where you're getting that content out there what you're what you're working here toward is you're working on pre-selling it's not just setting up a page with a link on it you're pre-selling them this is giving them more content that is basically leading to the sale um, so you're using as many methods as you possibly can that you're giving this content that is getting you noticed out there and getting you seen and getting that affiliate site that link seen you can do article marketing some good places to go, easy in articles, go articles, article dashboard. Um, get more content out there. As you notice, we're building content, getting yourself noticed. Um, you're, if you want to become a, a good affiliate marketer, you've got to be seen. Video marketing. You can do product reviews and the benefits, you know, where you're showing um, the basically a review of the product through videos. Um, you know, same with your blog. You can do a review blog where you set up that review and you're giving um, a review of a product. Where you know, and those are great ways to do make affiliate commissions. Um, YouTube, I recommend using it. Real people, realstuff.com, rever.com, and a couple of really good tools for you to make um, for video submission services where you can you know basically blast those videos out in several different places all at once. You got two mogul traffic geyser is uh, is the most expensive out of those. Another one is video post robot. Now I will tell you that right now currently video post robot I know is um, down. It should be starting up very soon again. Uh, make sure that you check that out. Um, but video post robot forum marketing. You need to perform a search for the niche forums that fit your marketing needs. Um, so you're going to want to find forums within your niche. Basically, you're providing a, 
a signature at the end of your of of your posts and stuff. And remember, when you're doing forum marketing, you're trying to establish your credibility. You're going in there and showing yourself as a helper first, as a giver instead of always trying to be a taker. Um, you want to go in there helping, developing relationships, getting people to know who you are, like you and trust you, know you. And then you start promoting those affiliate, some affiliate products, getting them to your site. Remember, list build, get them to your site and offer them something. Um, don't just go, go into a, some of the forums that you're going to find are not going to allow you to really send out an affiliate link. Um, it's going to have to go to one of your own sites. Article marketing like um, go to um, or easy in articles, excuse me, um, they're not going to allow you to send to an affiliate link. It's got to go to your own site. So that's where you send them to your squeeze page and then you're going to be introducing them into your affiliate products. Classified ads are another great place to do your advertising for your affiliate products. Craigslist, US free ads, Backpage, um, Kijiji or eBay classifieds, um, Oodle. Um, check these things out. Find out which ones work. Find a couple of these and master them. Stick to them before you know trying them all at once. Social networking sites, places like Facebook, Twitter, Yahoo groups, Ning, um, Tobri, which is a newer one that just come out. Um, these are great places, social networking. Social networking might not be your thing. It might be something that you go in um, and you get all caught up in um, all the social part of it and forget to really do the marketing part of it. And you're basically on there with all your friends just, you know, chatting back and forth and stuff. So be careful when, you know, make sure that this is something that you're going to be able to do. Maybe you, maybe you set up your accounts and have somebody else run these sites for you. If you're not one that can be accountable and channel to just going on there and doing what you need. Pay-per-click advertising, you can do Google AdWords, you can do Yahoo Search, um, you can do MSN Ad Center. Um, these are probably three of the top ones that you could be using for pay-per-click advertising. What I'm going to say about this, when, if you're going to do pay-per-click advertising, know what you are doing because if you don't, you can lose a lot of money. Know what you are doing if you are going to get into pay-per-click advertising. I do not recommend this for a beginner unless you're really ready to do, really do your research and get to know what's going on. Um, because you can lose a lot of money at this. Um, you can get a lot of clicks, get a lot of traffic to that, and not make a sale. And pretty soon you're paying out and nothing's coming in. Do free webinar trainings. Webinars are a great place where you can provide free content, and we're going to really get into some free stuff here in just a second, um, um, where you do basically get people on a webinar. Free content, imagine that. Free content, here, you know, show up, and when they do, make sure you're providing good content. Don't just go in there and provide a little bit of content here and there and then start pitching to them at the end. If you're going to do a pitch at the end, you better have provided some good content where that person says, wow, what I just got for free was simply amazing. It was actually helped me. I actually learned something. And man, if they've got something for me to buy, I'm all on it um, because I want to learn from this person. Um, and that's how you really need to look at when you're providing something for free is the value that you're providing. You know, don't just, you know, don't gather somebody and waste their time on a webinar and stuff where you're going to go in there for 20 minutes and give them a little bit of content and then do a half hour pitch to them trying to get them to buy something from you. You've, it's done all the time. All the time it's done. Um, you'll get people coming to your website in the minute you start, you know, talking about pitching something at the end they're gonna say oh just another one of those where you're trying to give me a little bit of something to get my money um, that's not what we're talking about doing but you get them on a webinar or a teleseminar then you send them basically to an offer um, an example here is a sales page that you could send them to maybe it's to a squeeze page for something else for free where you're saying hey I've got a free offer you know something else for you for free tonight um, I've got this product. I really think it'll help you. It really um, matches up with what we were talking about tonight. It's really going to be um, in, in line with what, what you need and stuff. I just want to give it away to you where they go to sign up for that. And basically, then it starts them into your product funnel that way. Free lead generators. Now we're going to get into that free lead generator a little bit more. Build a squeeze page on your website to give away a product that is relevant to your affiliate product or products that you have chosen. 
Your giveaway must always relate to the product you're promoting to maximize the results of the system. The product that you're promoting has got to be a good product. And any if you're going to have affiliate products that you're going to be trying to sell through your giveaways, through these lead generators, they better be a good match. They better be something that is worth the time for that person to sign up for. They need to be relevant to that affiliate product. So basically, you got them on your squeeze page for that offer. That offer that they're getting better be directly matched up with what they're about, what you're about to get them to try to buy. Make sure your squeeze page makes people's mouth water until they want your free offer so bad that they'd gladly pay for it, but then give it to them for free. All they have to do is fill in their name and email address in the simple form. You'll send them the product to them instantly via email or your product download page, whatever way you choose to send it to them. You just need to get them to say, yes, I want your free product. And then what we're going to do is we're going to back end that free product with affiliate offers. This is where the affiliate marketing comes in with a free giveaway. Offer your chosen affiliate products on a thank you page or as a one-time offer. So basically when they, instead of a thank you page, maybe they are taking, you've seen it all the time where you signed up for something for free and all of a sudden it's like this page that says, hey, this is a one-time offer. You're only going to see this once. Um, a special offer just for you today because you're here. Um, you know, and that in that case where you're trying to maybe an affiliate product that you put in place that basically you're sending them through a link to an affiliate page at that time um, a lot but one of the best ways to do this is to do it through an unadvertised bonus where basically they showed up and said you're basically on that thank you page or that product download page where you say hey thank you for signing up for this product that you just signed up for um, I really think you're gonna enjoy it um, and I've got something else that I really think is going to help you. Um, it's no cost to you. It's just a, it's unadvertised bonus stuff. I'd like you to just click here and go get this this other product and stuff. It's really going to help you. It's going to really help you see maybe how you know this ebook or whatever that they just signed up for really fits together to really help you get maximum results. Um, maybe it's in your follow-up messages that goes out where you. It basically says, you know, you're thanking them in the follow-up uh, messages and stuff. And there's, you're saying, hey, I've got something else that I'd like to uh, give you or that it's for free that I think you should sign up for. It'll really help you. So you can do it in your follow-up email system as well. When should you pitch affiliate products? When is it early, too early to pitch an affiliate product? When they have not shown interest at yet. So basically when they have not showed up to your page and that's when you shouldn't be pitching anything when do you know they're interested when they opt in get them while they're hot and ready to buy when they opt in when they're saying I'm interested in what you have this is one of the best times for you to get them to start to buy something for you and you should take that opportunity after opting in give them something to purchase get them to be a customer even if it's just one dollar and there's some easy ways to go about that um, this will make them more quali a more qualified customer. You now, now know that they have a credit card and they now have shown a greater interest. So maybe it's just as simple as I need your, I, here's the, I've got this free membership site or whatever for 30 days or whatever that I'm going to offer you right now. All you're going to need to do is fill in your credit card information and stuff. If you want to cancel any time during that time, you know, that's up to you. But if not, automatically you'll be billed. So, you know, that's a, that's a great way to just, you're just interested right now in getting that that credit card um, out and to actually purchase something. All right, that sounds a bit. Um, make more money with ebook uh, giveaways. Sounds a bit contradictory, but you here you're here to learn affiliate marketing and make money. And I'm telling you to give an ebook away. Um, you know, it's like we're ready to make money, and I'm going to sit here and tell you to give something away. And I've been teaching you how to give something away. Um, I'm telling you, it works. A lot of people will tell you, do not, don't work the free line. It just gets a bunch of freebie seekers on there that are no good. It works. Write a short ebook or report on how to get the most out of affiliate product that you're promoting. So basically, say you've picked an affiliate product. Now you're going to write a short report. So you're going to know that affiliate program that product that you know pretty good pretty well what it's all about you've studied it you know the ins and outs you write an ebook on that program that you're about ready to um, promote um, so you're telling them this is how you know here's the program um, 
I don't, I don't want you to buy it right now. I just want you to read this and see what it's all about. Here's the best, the inter, you know, the benefits of the product. This is how you're going to be using this. The, you know, how you're going to get maximum results and stuff from this. And if it, if it's not that product, you need to choose another um, subject that fits in a, a particular product. So maybe you, maybe it's on uh, setting up a WordPress blog or something like that, where you write an ebook. You know, it can be showing them how to get the benefits out of WordPress blog, or maybe you teach them how to write. Um, you're showing them how to write um, posts for their blog or something. Make sure that it's either you know directly in line with what's going on, or a similar subject that's going to for that's going to fit that product that you're trying to promote. It's got to make sense. Make sure the information in the ebook or report is both interesting and value to the reader. Now, in this case, it's not an ebook that somebody's going out to purchase for $37, $47. You're basically giving it away to them. They don't want to read a 50 or 60 page report. Everyone is pressed for time. Keep reports or those short ebooks between 10 or 15 pages of good, solid content. Get rid of the fluff, cut right to the heart of the information that you're giving away. If you can pack 10 or 15 pages of valuable information, your reader will be more than satisfied. This is your pre-sell. You are giving away this ebook or report, but it is your pre-sell to what you're about to promote them with. Next, you're going to add your affiliate link inside that ebook. Wherever it makes sense, you're going to put that affiliate link to the product that you're promoting. You're going to put it in several places throughout your ebook. You never know when one idea that you're talking about will spark someone's interest or overcoming their last objective and be the deciding factor in them buying your affiliate product. You might they might go through this whole entire ebook and not even buy anything. Well, that was no fun, but guess what? You still got follow-up messages and everything else in the in line that you're going to continue the pre-sell because they're on your list. Once you get them on the list, unless they opt off, you are in a great position to continue to pre-sell. So basically, wherever it makes sense, you're going to put an affiliate link to the product that you're trying to promote in throughout your, this report. Get your ebook report out. The next step, once you have it all set up, you get it. You got to get it out there. Set up a squeeze page always. Contact the person who you're going to be promoting affiliate products for and offer him your ebook or report to give away to his list. So basically you say, hey, Mr. Product Owner, I've signed up as an affiliate. I wrote this great report that is going to really help me make some sales for you. Um, you're not just saying, hey, you know, here I am. Um, I'm here trying to get, can you, you know, send somebody to this. You're showing them that you're really putting some effort toward getting them to, you know, helping them out and make sales for their product. You contact them, say, I've built this report. Show them a copy of it. Make sure it's really good. And say, can you just take this and send it out to your list? That's why you want to have a squeeze page. So when they send it out, first of all, they're going to click on that, sign up to your list. Um, sometimes you're going to run into product owners that will not do this. Um, so make sure it's something that they really see that it's going to benefit their list. Add a link to ebook in your email signatures or forum signatures. So basically, here, uh, you know, when you're doing your signatures in your emails or your forums, say, hey, you know, I've got this great ebook I want to give away an example. For a limited time, grab my top 10 tips to become a number one affiliate in any niche. And it, you put an affiliate link to a product that teaches the top 10, you know, the number one affiliate ways to become a great affiliate in any niche. Um, that's going to be your product. Um, so basically, the link is going to go to your squeeze page. So you can get them on. So if they don't buy, that you can at least begin the relationship building. Strategically add links in blog posts. Links go to a squeeze page once again, where you, know, you want to be building that list. So in those blog posts, you're pre-selling all the way through uh, this great blog post where they're going, wow, this is some good content. Yes, wow. And then all of a sudden, you're just like, and for some more information, and they're like, yeah, I could really use some more because I didn't get quite everything I needed, but man, this was good stuff. And now they're coming to just click on this link, and I'm going to give you a free ebook that is really going to go into depth. Well, you know, sure, I'm giving my name and email, but that doesn't sound too threatening. Okay, I'm going to get more content to really help me understand this more for free. I'm all in it to sign up. 
lot of people just put in there they'll build these blog posts say hey here's a pro you know here's maybe some good content or whatever but then there's like right away it's taking them to a sales page which you know sends that person you know why not lead them in a little bit gentler where it takes them to that free report where it gives them a, another chance to even pre-sell even more what it's doing is building your credibility they're seeing you as giving them a better solution to their pro to their problems use social media Twitter Facebook etc we've discussed those things you know example free ebook discover how a middle-aged man with no list no site no experience generated over 104,349 day dollars in under 30 days and it goes to your affiliate link once again you want to send them to that free ebook that's going to be telling them basically all about this product that this person has set up that's going to explain to them how they made all this money in 30 days It's going to be the product but you're sending them to your free ebook that's going to be leading them into going getting on the sales page so here's the free ebook flow process basically their squeeze page you know of course you got your source of traffic you know your blogs your social media wherever that we're talking about they get on your they go to your squeeze page they opt in basically they get their thank you for subscribing here's your free you know for your free gift here's the next thing that they're taken to the download page where they get their free ebook inside that free ebook there's an affiliate link and inside that affiliate link that they just were pre-sold on that's made them want to click they're taking to a sales page for that you are now cookie to as an affiliate I'll be you know you look at that process you know how how easy is that to say okay here you're signed up to my list I gave you some great content I want to give you some more good content I want to give you some more I want some more help that you're looking for here you go just sign up for this read this ebook they read it and they're just like wow this is good stuff and now you're saying and I want you to even learn more because you're, you're getting this stuff you're getting it I want you to even understand it even more and this product that I want to talk to you about right now here is going to really help you understand that even more and then they're you're pre-selling them they click on that link and they're taken to somebody else's sales page somebody else's product that you are cooking for and when they buy there you've done a much better job of pre-selling them now and they're ready to buy and you know the conversions are going to be much higher and commissions for you are going to start coming in unadvertised affiliate bonuses um, a lot of times you can find affiliate programs out there that will give a uh, free bonuses that you can be cookie to basically you'll sign up as an affiliate you'll go in get in a banner or an ad similar to something like this one right here where on your product pages or thank you pages or wherever you can find to put them uh, basically you know if somebody let's say somebody bought something from you or they signed up to your for that free ebook um, on that product page or thank you page you basically got an unadvertised bonus where it says hey I'm gonna give you something else for free um, let's talk about the thank you page it's a page on your website where the customer will receive your thank you for opting in for your free offer or buying your product or service the product download page is the page on your website where the customer will receive the actual product download links to the product they just purchased and this is my favorite spot right here to put that unadvertised bonus both of these pages are excellent pages to point your customer to new related offers they're interested in what you have already because they just signed up they're on your product page they either just bought something for you or they just signed up for something for free they're saying I'm interested in what you have and now you point them to something else be careful of using the words thank you in this process a little bit soon uh, because a lot of times that puts in the mind of your customer that that's the final step you know you're thanking them there's not going to be any more and then all of a sudden there's something else and they're like oh I thought I was done um, you don't want to you don't want to get in their mind that I'm done you so be careful when you're using thank yous you know that thank you page and the wording on it for too soon here's the flow process for an unadvertised bonus again they're at your squeeze page thank you for subscribing take them to the product download page and on that product download page is their product that they just either purchased or they just got for free on that on the bottom of it you're going to have an advertisement sort of like this where it say hey how about something else for a limited time only you can get this unadvertised bonus you know I you know I didn't tell you about this you know surprise here's some more great content that you can get for free they click on it for more details they go over and what's it going to take to once they once they do they're gonna be taken to a sales page 
Um, most of the time it's going to be telling them, here's what, you know, sign up for this for free. And they'll get that free, you know, the gift or whatever that they just signed up for. And then it's going to take them to a one-time offer. So now you're not in charge of the back, uh, back ending of these free products. Your, the product owner has now got his product funnel. They're taking your that customer into their product funnel now, but you are cooking through that affiliate link that they clicked on and, the, and that unadvertised bonus um, when they clicked on that banner or whatever it was and started the process into basically the product, other product owners um, thing. So as you can see how this works, you're basically taking them, you're giving them great content and it's a, and you're taking them into somebody else's product you didn't have to create. Um, somebody else's back-end marketing that you didn't have to create, but I recommend you know that you have your back-end marketing all set up, and this is a great way for you to set up your own back-end strategies, is leading them into somebody else's back-end strategies. Um, you might think of, well, I'm going to lose them at that point because they might like so-and-so better. That's a great possibility, but that's where you need to start saying, okay, I need to really work to keeping this person on my side um, because and because they're, what's going to happen, they're just going to start thanking you for recommending them, but they're going to stick with you. Next is they're going to, once that, a lot of times what's going to happen, like we were just talking about, they're going to go to that page for that free sign up. When they sign up for it, they're going to be taken to that other product owner or that affiliate's product is going to have that one-time offer where they say, hey, wait, here, I want you to check out this before you go. And now it's up to that person to sell and you make commissions once they hit that order now. So here's the whole, the entire unadvertised bonus flow process, basically squeeze page. Please confirm the email that they have to go to the inbox. Um, so basically, it's thank you for signing up. Email inbox to confirm. Confirmation product or download page. Um, they go to the unadvertised bonus. The affiliate sales page or free offer sign up, whatever it was for. They go to then after that, when they sign up, they go to an affiliate OTO. You make affiliate commissions on sometimes the front end and the OTO and more affiliate offers through follow up series. So now they're on your list. They're going to going through that process and now you're going to be taking them through your follow up messages to make even more sales all right if you want to build a great list then you have to follow up with your customers and subscribers you have to make sure the entire process was satisfying for him or her but in the long run you want to build an ongoing relationship and that's why we're getting them on the list lots of people fail to do follow-up and many of them just because they have absolutely no idea how to do it um, in your follow-up we're not going to get into basically how to write them. We've already done covered this. Tell them who you are. Tell them your goals. Tell them your goals for them. Tell them how to contact you. And then tell them more about what they're interested in. Those are your affiliates on product. This is your follow-up email series in a nutshell. Getting them to know who you are, like and trust you. Let them know, you know what kind of goals you have for yourself and your business and for them. So they can see where you're going. Because if you're going someplace... They're going to think that, you know, this is probably somebody I should follow because I'm hoping they're going to take me with them. I want to, I'm going to, you know, grab a hold of that apron string or whatever, as you might say, and go with them for the ride. Let them know always how they can contact you and then always give them more of what they're interested in. Follow up with your customers and leads build relationships. The three, three most important things that you can do with your list and your, through your follow up messages are build relationships, over deliver, and help you to stay in contact. Relationships, you need to stay in front of them to let make sure that you're building that relationship so they get to know who you are so they can know you like and trust you. Over deliver, and this is a great place to always do it in your follow up. Always give them more. This is a great place, hey, I've got this unadvertised bonus thing that I want to give you. Um, always be over delivering, and it's a great way to stay in contact with your when you're always keeping your presence in front of them so they don't forget who you are. And when you when they're going that inbox and seeing all those thousands of emails that are you know bombarding them every day establish a relationship with your prospect your initial contact is not about making a sale it's about establishing a relationship with your potential client only two percent of your prospects to sign up will buy your affiliate products that you're offering after they sign up to your squeeze page doesn't sound like a lot um, but 98 percent of your sales will be made from your follow-up that you have set up for them to receive from you and that's why follow-up messages are so important you're establishing that trust and that credibility. 
There's a very simple method for following them up and making sales automatically. The whole process is run from an autoresponder, a simple piece of email software that most of you should know what it is, that automatically sends you pre-written follow-up messages on a predetermined schedule. So you basically pre-write them, you have them all set up that you've got them scheduled to go out at the times that you want them. They're going out first one immediately, maybe the next one the next day. You've got them all set up when you want them to go out. Know your prospects begin now your prospects begin to receive emails from you on a predetermined schedule with new tips and useful information that is directly related to the niche affiliate product that you have chosen. So get you're getting ready. You're warming them up right now. You're getting ready to pre-sell. This information positions you as a credible expert, gives you the opportunity to promote your affiliate website or affiliate product to hot prospects that are conditioning to buy. This is where you'll make 98% of your sales. You can build a relationship and get um, from the get-go through your website and emails by addressing common problems most people have. So and this is a great place to say, you know what, most people have this problem. You're probably experiencing it. The reason you know this is you've been list building, you're getting to build those relationships and know what's going on. And pretty soon you're going to see a common theme of people coming on your list and you're going to be able to really tweak those follow-ups to really um, help you to um, build these relationships. If you need help in getting ideas of problems to address, just think about the issues that originally made you want to get into affiliate marketing. There are a good majority of people that feel the same way and are looking for solutions to the same problems. So if you need help getting ideas of problems to address, just think about the issues that you had. You know, you know, think about those kind of issues that you had and generally most other people are probably going to be having or a significant amount of the audience is going to have a lot of those same problems. Basically a follow-up email series is kind of set up like this where you have all your emails that you got. You can see we've got um, nine messages here. You can, they've all set up certain intervals going out. Um, and in those things, you basically you see the first one was a thank you. Down, number three, that one is promoting an affiliate product. Go down number nine, that one is promoting an affiliate product. What are the ones in between doing that? They're giving them good content that are leading them into where you want them to go. You're pre-selling them. You know, the first one um, the, that you do you know these four keys maybe is, pro is probably taking them to a free offer or whatever that you're going to get them, you know, into a, you know, something that's maybe a like an unadvertised bonus type affiliate product where you're going to lead them into a, a really easy, gentle sale, basically. Um, something that's kind of non-threatening as you go down you're going to be building you know building those relationships giving them more content leading them to that number nine one that's down there and i'm not saying this is how you need to set it up this is just an example of where you're going to send them to an affiliate product you've pre you basically pre-positioned this in their mind where they're ready for this um by the time they get to this point Inside that email, there's going to be a link, in which is going to be your affiliate link. You can see this one was used with tiny URL. Um, you know, if basically you go, you're going through this. Is my friend's got this great product um, that you're giving, and they're giving it away for free. Look what we're doing here. It's non-threatening still. We're still saying there's free, no strings attached. Um, you know, and so basically they go through there. They click on that link, which is an affiliate link. Yes, it's sending them to something else for free, but it's setting them up for you to make commissions right now. And here's what's going to happen. They click on the link in that affiliate one. They're taken to the page to sign up for whatever the offer was. In this case, it looks like a free ebook. Next, they're going to be registering for this free ebook. So they're like, okay, um, you just clicked on this to get your free ebook. I mean, they didn't even have to fill any information in this yet, if you, as you've seen in this particular example here. They didn't even fill any information. They just clicked on, a, on, on give me my free ebook. Now they're going to a registration form where they're saying, they're like, man, well, I want what I just clicked in for, so I'm going to sign in this. Um, basically, you're, there's, you know, they're, in this case, they're saying it's going to be a free membership that you get access to. So you're going to have to sign in your name, email, and stuff so we can keep in contact with you, you know, on product updates and stuff like that. You're going to have to have a username, password, all pretty non-threatening. You know, they sign up for it. They're taken to the affiliate login page in this case where they sign in to, you know, expecting to get that free ebook. And as soon as they sign in, it's like, wait a minute. Um, before you go in, you know, just a second, you're going to be taken in to get your product stuff. But before you do, check out this offer. 
all the way through this process they were cookied to that affiliate link that they originally clicked on inside that follow-up message um, and that's basically how the follow-up email series now they could basically be taken from this link directly to a sales page here and once they buy taken to a one-time offer which might take them into the new product owners or whatever that the affiliate product owners may take them onto their list where they start going through the follow-up emails which you might still be cooking through so if they click on a link in theirs that it takes them through this process and you still end up with sales um, so that's basically how the fee the follow-up emails um, works with affiliate marketing we're winding up here set yourself apart from the crowd your success in affiliate is determined by you 95% of the people that are watching this simple how-to guide will do nothing with it 5% of the people will attend and watch that will attend and watch will actually put all the pieces in place and start making a living as an affiliate don't back off right now and think wow that's a that's a lot of odds against me and stuff you become one of the five percent it's within your reach for you to do it for you to become that five percent um, I would love to even see that five percent start going up with people believing in themselves that it's actually capable for them to do there is money in affiliate marketing by setting yourself apart from the affiliate marketing crowd don't just do it like everybody else just because you're watching the competition to see how they do it look for ways to set yourself apart maybe it's through bonuses that you can give giving better content better follow-up better um, support whatever it is set yourself apart maybe it's as simple as not recommending junk products the reason there are so many failures and poor or bad feelings about affiliate marketing is because people don't think about what their phrase means um, you know there are two words to consider when you're talking about affiliate marketing there's two words to it affiliate plus the marketing equals your assess just success just because you become an affiliate does not mean you're going to be successful you have got to be have the marketing part down and that's where all your planning and everything we've been talking about comes into play where that's when it equals your success when both of those two are working together when you become an affiliate and you got your proper marketing strategies in in the right order the second part of the equation is the one that will make or break your efforts to be as successful in affiliate marketing get yourself noticed on the affiliate marketing radar first of all build your list um, you're going when you got a list you're going to be able to start making more sales because you're going to make, make easier product recommendations you're going to be seen when you start making sales um, those affiliate product owners are going to start noticing you they're going to start sending you other offers and stuff they're going to start building that relationship with you so build your list establish yourself as a super affiliate that means do whatever you can to start generating as many sales as possible and I know that's what you're working for um, but establish yourself as a super affiliate because you're going to have people knocking on your door all the time saying hey can you help me do this because I want to make you a lot of money create your own in-demand product I really recommend this from the beginning get your own products um, started creating affiliate marketing can come into play while you're doing this um, it's not going to be this big thing that really takes off until you really build that credibility up but um, start creating your own in-demand products because when you have a product other people are going to come to be an affiliate for your products and they're going to say hey how about um, the products that I have and so you're going to start getting noticed develop relationships with other marketers so they get to know who you are like you and trust you just like your customers here's some affiliate marketing advice watch other affiliate marketers look at the strategies they're using and see what is working and what is not become the credible expert if your visitor feels and believes that you are an expert in your niche they are more inclined to making that purchase do not run the risk of promoting junk products and services remember think of how long it took you to get going don't take it all down in just a short time only promote products that match your target audience and fulfill the needs and wants they have know your customers get to know your customers build that really that relationship with your list promote products that position well in your product funnel it must make sense to the customer before they purchase if what you're promoting doesn't make sense to your target market they're not going to buy no matter how hard you try so go into it knowing what they're looking for in summary successful affiliates in any affiliate program simply do not sit there and wait for money to come in they do not simply go out sign up grab their affiliate link 
sit it out there and wait for money to come in. Um, because, basically because there's no money in simply setting and waiting. If you want to be successful in affiliate marketing and if you want to continually grow your affiliate checks, you have got to do something. That's the bottom line. Just you know, grabbing that affiliate link and sitting there waiting is not going to do you anything. It's not going to get you any results. The only result you're going to get is you're going to get the result of frustration that many have already experienced too many times already. Affiliate marketing is all up to you to make things happen for you. If you freeze now, you make no money, just like so many times before, and you flush your goals down the toilet. If you take action, you make it one step closer to your goals. Remember at the very beginning, we talked about these goals. You've got them lined up there. You're looking at them. You're seeing how you need to start going. You've got everything all in place. You see where the end goal is, and you see how you're going to get there now. Um, and now you need to take action on them. Just because they're all written down in actionable steps, you still have to take that action. And when you do, you're going to start becoming one step closer to achieving your goals. And it's and the same goal goes for affiliate marketing as it is for setting up any business or anything that you do in life. <laughs> 